<gasps> here comes Santa Claus, here comes Santa Claus, right down Santa Claus Lane. Na 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 na. This is so cool. Na 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 Fuck man. I love Christmas. <laughs> I love it. I love it. I you love do. it. I love it. It's like honestly, if happiness was a drug, it would be called Christmas. Because that's what it does to me. Makes me <clears throat> fucking happy. <laughs> 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 I love it. I love it. I love the enthusiasm. Oh, That's I love great. it. I love it. I love it. Guys, welcome to... Holy shit. What are we doing? What I'm not gonna buy! <laughs> Yo, Kimberly, we <laughs> fucking love you. Yeah. So, um, <laughs> we've been asked for like over a year oh to do anti-hauls and yes. um, we always respond... We sort of do them every week with every, Beauty News. Every single episode of Beauty News is an anti-haul. Yep. And everyone rages at us for yep. it. So um, we have been reluctant to do anti-hauls. But we thought we did two whole videos talking about holiday releases. Um, and on our own in channels we've done holiday hauls. Yep. So we thought, why not do an anti-haul? Stuff mm -hmm. that we don't want to buy and yep. why we don't want to buy it. Um, there this are, is yep. just one of our gifts to you this month. You've been asking for it. We're like, guys, we do them all the time. Yeah. But this is like actual straight up anti-haul. Yeah. So we're talking about holiday anti-haul yep. stuff. Kimberly Clark style, tipping our head to the master of anti-hauls. Yeah. Do you want to start? I do. What are you not buying? <laughs> Which, if you've been watching Beauty News, you'll know, you'll know. we're not buying this. Fuck no. Let's... Not touching this with a 40 foot pole. For so many reasons. Yep. Uh, this is the Bare Minerals Hidden Treasure Palette. Mm -hmm. I think the hidden treasure is their color blind. Yeah. This is what even is this? Please tell me what's going on over at Bare Minerals. It, it's like they've taken the saturation and turned it way, way down. down, and they've They're given like, you multiples of it. No color for you. No color. Bland Christmas. Yeah. No stuffing. No. No salt. No. No pudding. Oh no. No. You just get brown. Brandy? Brown no. and grey. <laughs> Not brandy. Brown. Yeah. <laughs> so essentially this is the Bare Minerals palette. It's got, um, what is it, 18 <laughs> shades. It's massive. But it's beige, oh grey and is brown. So sad. It is I'm going to most... say this. Yeah. Bare Minerals palettes are my favourite palettes. My all time, all time favorite palettes. Mm -hmm. But every single time they bring one out, it gets more and more brown and gray. And I reckon what they're aiming for is like 2020, 18 pan white palette. 50 shades of gray. They're 50 actually pans going of white. For, yeah. 50 shades of gray. Yeah, they're going as monotoned as possible. Yeah, so. it is so sad. It is so sad. Yeah. And it is the first time they're not gonna get my money this year. Do you remember? Bing. Thing, do you remember two years ago with their beautiful um, one that you fold out? Oh, the Regal wardrobe. Still one I of my favorite. Still palettes. have it, and I still love it. Every yeah. time I open that, I'm just like my baby, yeah. my absolute baby. Yes, yeah, so they can do it. They just they, they just yeah, don't do it. They lost their way. Yep. Okay, one for me, and this is one that we were both thinking about getting, yeah. and we both went in store separately, swatched it. And then decided, no. Mm -hmm. So this is the Chloe Morello um, collab with Ciate London. It's the Beauty Hall Volume 2. Yep. Now we are beauty collectors and we have the Volume 1. And I looked at these colours and I'm like, look, they slot in nicely with the other one. They slot yeah. in nicely with stuff that's happening at the moment and um, colours that people are liking. Yeah. And colours that I'm liking and, you know, I can get behind this. Swatched it. It was just really boring. It was just so, the pigmentation wasn't great. It just felt like cheap. It, yeah, it, I, mm. mm. And the thing is though, that the last one they brought out, the, the formula swatched it, really well. Yes. It was really hard to pick up on your brush. Yeah. So um, it was quite an oily formula. So I was hoping that this would be different, which I think it is, but it just seems really boring. Yeah. I feel like they have potentially changed the formula, but I also feel like something has also gone awry in creating that new formula mm -hmm. because it's just everything just looks so dull. Yeah. Like real life saturation turned out. Yeah. It was exactly really right. I'm sad about that. Yes. Yeah. 
I wanted to buy it. And I even like the additions that came in it. You've got the little liquid lipstick, which are really great. I still so good. love the one from last year. Yep. Great formula. You've got the little mascara, which I loved. I took this to I Japan. I love it too. Love this little mini mascara. Yep. And a liner as yep. well. So, um, you know, it's a nice little pack, but just I'm not willing to spend my money on it. So no. 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 Okay, the next one's cheating. Sorry, guys. I actually did buy one of these, but... I feel like it's very important to bring up because when I discovered something about this product, I was like, what Yeah. the fuck? Mm -hmm. So these are the Diptyque candles for holiday 2017. And I went and bought this green one in the mini size and it smells like Christmas trees. It is fucking divine mm -hmm. and it is beautiful. And then when I got home and I pulled it out of its box and I was like, look at my new toy. I was like, God damn, that is a fucking sticker. Yeah. That unicorn, it's not printed on there. No. No, it's not. It's a cheap sticker. It's a fucking sticker. That's not cool, man. That's a, like, I think it was $48 for a candle this big. Because the whole thing is... What are you doing? You, you you justify spending it because you think, okay, once I've used it up, I've got the container yes. that I can use for yes. like putting brushes in it Absolutely. or whatever it is. And then if that is just a sticker, you go, well, what I can't even. Point? You can't even wash it. No. You can't wash it. You're going to lose the sticker. And the hot... Like the actual... Um, the Like the big one the on a, jar yeah, yeah but yeah. the jar like it has the white parts on it that's all printed it's just the gold like the unicorn in yeah. that particular case it's just a sticker i'm not sure about the big ones if they were stickers but fuck man i wouldn't be surprised but the little ones for sure and like kat said i'm like all right one i love the scent of the candle i will burn it this holiday season and enjoy it i love the unicorn i love the green and i'm going to reuse the jar I can't get it wet. I can't wash it after yeah. I've burnt the candle down. That's a shame. All right. One that is very familiar to our channel mm -hmm. is Winky Lux. This is the um, mini lip pill kit. Now, um, Hayley bought this. Mm -hmm. And when I saw it, I was like, oh, my God, this is so cute. And I was tempted to go Thank out and you. buy it myself. Um, but when we did our makeup breakup on it to see how much product was in it, um, yeah, it... <laughs> it wasn't good like it says 10 grams it's actually two grams across the whole thing it was a like and, I, and that's fine that it's a muck up but i still have not seen corrections across websites so i'm i'm i did want to get this because these are so cute yeah um but the fact that it's just such bad value um the cuteness doesn't yeah i don't like it that much yeah so i'm passing on that even though you originally convinced me to buy it. Mate, they're fucking cute, aren't they? Yeah, I saw it yeah. in the store and I was like, too small. And then Hayley showed them to me and you're like, they're so cute and the quality is so good. And I'm like, I'm buying it. And then, yeah. no, then I was really yeah. convinced not to buy it. It's a shame. If these had to have been marked correctly as like a correct weight, um, I think like it still would have been something where you go, yeah, I can buy that. Because the formula is nice and they're cute, but... Mm. I don't know. Naughty, naughty? I don't know. I don't know. I'm still not convinced. No, that's fair enough. All right. So we both have put down mm -hmm. um, the Hourglass Lip Vault. Yeah. So if you're not familiar with our channels and everything, um, these are our favorite lipsticks of the year. Love them. They're the best formula. They're amazing. We did uh, how many swatches in one of them. And we're quite surprised at how many applications you can potentially get out of it. Um, but this lip vault is not worth the money. No. Um, this is really expensive. And when you break it down, since you only get two of the cases and 30 refills, it actually isn't saving much money. No. It's like, I, I just, I don't know. I, I think it, the refills, okay, you get the product in it and you can actually use the refills as a lipstick. But the gorgeous casing and everything, if it, if there was 30 of them, yeah. look, that's I'll a, drop some money on them. Look, that's my issue with it. Yeah. I'm like, I love those lipsticks. I'm sure there's shades in there I wouldn't wear. But if they were all in those cases, I'd, I'd, 
fucking do it. I'd yeah. give you $900 for it. I actually probably would. But who the fuck wants to be like, here's my 30 refills, let me swap them out. No. Get fucked. No, but also the fact that you're not actually saving that much money. Our no, glass are notorious not. for kind of jibbing you where they're like, look at this amazing pack. Yeah. Oh, you're only saving a dollar. Like, you know, it's it's pretty poor yeah. in regards to... Like, yeah. anything... This is almost buying them wholesale. Yeah. You go, I need a good discount to make this worthwhile. Exactly. And they're not giving it to you, so... Nah. Um, look, I love these lipsticks and I recommend them to everyone, but no go. Um, sort of in the same... Not the same reason, but um, this three-pack mm. I really wanted to get. Um, Hayley bought it. And it is gorgeous. There's three new shades in there. Once again, one case and two re refills. I can sort of deal with I can that. Deal with that. I can deal yeah. with that. I've got three other ones, so swapping two out's not the biggest problem in the world. Um, but the reason why I I swatched these in store and I was like, these look amazing um, when I saw them online. Um, but I ended up passing on them because. Um, Two of them are really pink, and yeah. for nudes, for me, pinks don't look great. Um, but the value of these aren't too bad. It's almost like you're getting one refill for free. And I was like, if I don't like one, no big deal. But I didn't really like two, so I had to pass on that. You don't need it, and you're not going to buy it. So I ended up buying just a nude one for a single. Smart girl. Yeah. Uh, okay, my next one is pretty much everything from the Huda Holiday Collection. Yeah. So I was so we've got the, uh, what was this called? Winter Solstice Palette. Yeah. And then the Winter Solstice Liquid Glittery Holographic Not Hollow Lip Topper Gloss Pack. I don't mini even fucking know. Quad. <laughs> yeah. Jesus. Matching. Um, this stuff's old. Yeah, this is old. So this is yawn. so old. Yawn, 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 yawn. Yeah. Sorry, Huda. Uh, just... No. No. Never. Uh, similar sort of thing for me. Jeffree Star, they, he was brought out um, the highlighter palettes yeah. as part of his holiday collection. Um, and I don't mind 24 karat. I think that one's not too bad. But yeah. Platinum Ice, holy oh, shit. Black and white. This is, this is Anastasia Beverly Hills uh, Moonchild Glow Kit version 2. It, um, is. it is so done. And done to death that I just, no, I don't need that yeah. in my collection. I think I'm actually ready for highlighting to die. Like, bye. Do you know what? I've actually gone old school. And I don't know if people have noticed, but in the last few videos of Beauty News and we list our makeup, um, MAC uh, Soft and Gentle. Beautiful, isn't it? That's what I'm wearing today. I'm just yeah. like, I'm getting, I'm going old school. I'm, yeah. Anti all these fancy highlighters that are like metallic bling and holographic bleh. Yeah. I'm just like, no, old school. Soft and gentle. Keep it soft and gentle. Yeah, exactly. Um, speaking of hol uh, pal pal holidays dying. No, don't. Uh, <laughs> speaking of highlighting dying, yeah. I am not touching the Kat Von D Metal Crush highlighting palette with a 40-foot pole because... What even is this? This should have come out three years ago. Yeah, it's pretty Just boring. saying. Now, I do want to clarify that we don't know if this is technically holiday. Yeah. It's but it is coming, coming out. out in the holiday yeah. season. Um, we have both bought the um, Shade and... No, Satan Cinder Palette. Yeah. And um, we both don't love it, but we're weird collectors, so we've yeah. done it. We've done it looks it. like someone hit this with a hammer, and I'm happy about that. Should have been us. <laughs> uh, <laughs> <gasps> Sass! <laughs> All right, so the Marc Jacobs um, massive, like, iconic palette yes. they bring out every year. This is the third instalment. It is. Um, and we both decided not no. going to buy it. However, they're good. I swatched this in store, and it yeah. is the first one I've ever swatched in store. And I was like, God damn. Yeah, they're good. God damn, this is nice. This yeah. is really nice. But the colors don't speak to me. I've got it, I don't need it. It's done. And also, please stop it with the animal print packaging. Yeah, I agree. Saying. But look, if I had bought the first two, yeah. I would 100% buy the third. Yeah. Um, I remember swatching the first one in store and being like, that is a nice palette. Yeah. But the shades just didn't speak to me. And I think every year um, they're doing their own thing. They're sort of yeah. missing trends and not really going on 
um, or trying to foresee what the next trend is. Yeah. They're just kind of going random, random, Colour. random, 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 I random. I wonder if they let like octopuses pick yeah, the colors. Yeah, maybe. They might. Maybe should, they should do that. Hey, let's make a brand and call it Octopus Beauty and just let octopuses choose the shades that we release. I think that's a great idea. The next one is Tarte. And In general. It's pretty much everything. Yeah. From Tarte. Yeah. Did you know that this is a little screenshot from uh, the Sephora website with the Tarte holiday goodies? And it pretty much looks like last year's stuff. That's exactly why I'm skipping Tarte this year. And the year before. Um, and the year before that. They are regurgitating a lot from previous years. Yeah. Um, and they're just, you know, swapping out shades or doing whatever. But, man, I've got that I've got that Amazonian bizarre yep, thing, the blush uh, bizarre. double-sided blush yeah, palette. And look, it. it's good. I like it. But I, just, I, don't, need to. I don't need to buy one every year. Yeah, they, they've saying? got um, the liquid liners. No, they're gel liners in tubes. I bought the one last year where you got two tubes. I think this yep. year you get like three or four tubes. Yep. I haven't used that one twice, so I don't need it again. Yeah, it's a problem. Yeah, they are bringing out the same stuff every yeah, year. Yeah, it does. It, it feels um, regurgitated to me mm. and almost, I don't know, kind of like eh, they didn't really try that much to come yeah. up with anything new and exciting. So Yeah, the only thing I'm moderately interested in is um, the is it, Tartist is it, Vault oh, with I the three... It was the skin palette. No, you know, the serial killer in me... It doesn't care. Um, uh, yeah, so essentially I was interested in that because I don't have any of the Tartus palettes. So the um, the Tartus, the Tartus in Bloom, the Tartus Toasted, Toasted, yeah. Um, I think it. they come in a big trio. And I was like, I was like, oh, I could justify that. And I was like, look, that is a collection that I haven't really felt the need to go get. Yeah. So why buy it in mass? But if it goes on sale, I might pick it up. A sale is the best way to convince us. Yeah. When in doubt, buy it on sale. That's true. Um, Too Faced. Yes. I personally have not bought anything from them this year. Which I is... have, so I'm shutting my mouth. <laughs> no, we'll, we'll discuss we'll it. Discuss. But, like, I, in the last couple of years, I've bought something each year. Um, I particularly like their the mini um, lip packs. Yeah. This year, I wasn't so interested. Um, I love their melted matte liquid lipsticks and I was hoping that the um, gingerbread one was coming out here. It's not. That was the one thing I really wanted from this holiday. Um, re- like I agree. And, and they didn't bring it out in Australia, which I'm really bummed about. What's wrong with these I people? I know, shame. But normally I pick up this mini lip set. Um, the reason why I didn't this year was um, the melted matte, the red colour is Drop Dead Red, which Hayley claims performs horribly and Don't buy it, so guys. i have avoided that shade no hey one... do you want my mini to try i'll try it all right nice. do it and i swear to god if it turns out to not crumble off your face like my one does i'm gonna rage yeah i'm wondering if i decluttered it because i couldn't even find it no we oh that's right we destroyed we just, it yeah we put it I on the cake yeah yeah uh... see it's right there it reminds me every day um yeah so I was looking at this. I saw what shade it was. I'm like, nah, I didn't want the li- the latex. And then the two uh, melted ones are similar to the ones that came out last year. Yes. Uh, I believe it's either Chihuahua or Fig. In Chihuahua the... was last year, so this yeah, might be Fig. It might be Fig. And then it was melt. It was the chocolate honey one yes. last year. Yeah. They're all very similar. Been there, done that. It's a shame. Yeah. And then, of course, let's rage about the um, white chocolate bar palette. Um that is ridiculous. So that came out in a mini um, and it got really bad reviews. Only a couple of people said they liked it that I saw online. Yeah, so essentially they took like 90% of that palette. Yeah, most of those shades yeah. or all those shades, put it in this palette and then just added pops of colour to it. So that is no go. That is a piece of garbage sh- shit. Uh, and it is the first chocolate bar palette that I will not be adding to my collection Agreed. because you gotta like fucking get real. Yeah, get. I real. do want that that gold one though. I kind of want the gold one too. Yeah. 
All right, the last thing we're going to be talking about, um, I don't know if you are going uh, to be passing on this one too. Yeah, I look, realistically, I think I will, yeah. and I will tell you why. This is the Urban Decay, what is it even called? See, I've already the forgotten. Metal something. What would they call it? Heavy, heavy metal. Heavy metal palette, that's it. So this is... Um, it's a 20 pan palette mm -hmm. with a mirror in the middle. Yeah. <laughs> so you kind of be like doing one of these. Yeah. You hope there's um, no fallout. Hope so. Hope so. Um, and you've essentially got sort of nudes and neutral shades on one side and a bit more sort of bright and fun cut colored shades on the other side and I think my issue with this palette is I look at it and I would be willing to spend money on it but by the time that it makes it to Australia I'm like <laughs> serious yeah it's kind of like boring I'm over it but yeah but also I think with it um what gets me it's not like I don't really love the format of it it looks really yeah, big and clunky I don't like the format either but I've been I've bought a few Urban Decay palettes in this past year and I just They're never reached good. for them. So like no. the After Dark palette, which is all sort of like these sort of metallic shades. Yeah. It's um, not that good. It's not that great. And I, if you compare the shades in the After Dark palette with the permanent shades yeah. in the singles, they really reduced the quality yeah. of them to put in the palette. Yeah. And so if I don't reach for something like After Dark, I'm not going to reach for this. If you're going to sell a palette that's called Heavy Metals, and keeping in mind, I haven't tried this, so I'm... You know, I'm only going on my past experience with Urban Decay eyeshadows in like the last two years. It's got to be actual like full on metallic intensity, heavy metals. Mm -hmm. And then you're going to get it and you're going to be like, oh, it's a satin eyeshadow. Yeah. Oh, I need to build it up or foil it to make yeah, it look awesome. I've got to apply it wet with a glitter glue and a fucking, I don't know. Not interested. Like a Mayron mixing fluid. Yeah. Like, oh, God. Yeah, I'm I'm out. You've lost me. Soz. All right, I think that's it. Oh, my God. So we're there's more that we're not buying. Oh, my but, God. We're but not those are the anything. ones that we kind of went through the photos from um, our video uh, talking about all the holiday yeah. releases. And we if, were like, Ugh. We're like, that one's <laughs> annoying me. So we kind of like picked out the ones that yeah. really annoyed yeah. us um but if you do want to see our recap videos of all not all the holiday releases but up until that point most of the holiday releases yep. that were shown um we will link linked. them down below on the screen everywhere don't forget you can also let us know what you are anti-hauling this holiday season yep. is it everything yeah is it some of the things are you just like fucking bring on January so I can be a year away from fucking Christmas again. Let us know down in the comments section. Cheers to Kimberly Clark. Yeah. We love and you, girl. we either have a gi giveaway up or we have one coming up. That's a thing. If it's up, it'll be up there. If it's not, it's coming soon. Yeah. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas, friends. <laughs> Happy holidays. Bye. Bye.